damn, that suit is looking nice and fresh. And if you're wondering, this is also my suit. So I managed to, with my mods, go to the cheat room, get two power armors because at this point, I feel like I'm going to need them for this next DLC that I'm going to explore. But I figured I might as well just come back to Pam and just let her know so what the... Or theta N, when I approaches probability bounds. I might as well just tell Pam what the fuck I've been doing for the past three months worth of Fallout 4 content. That Courser so. won't be bothering anyone again. Mission's outcome correctly predicted. Warning. Odds of more coursers being discovered are extremely high. Reward for service delivered. You mean to tell me? No, fuck that shit. You mean to tell me I did all that crazy ass bullshit for 240 caps? Hey, yo, I'm leaving. I am so I'm leaving. I never even asked you, my boy. So at this point, I'm going to pause on the railroad mission. I'm just going to pause on the whole Fallout 4 main mission altogether. Me and Piper, which, you know, I decided to have her come with me. Me and Piper are going to do the DLC of one of Valentine's cases. So let's go over and let me find that quest first off somewhere over here this one all right so i'm going to go to the nakano residence and it's all the way over there of course we need to walk anyways let's head on over and start this new dlc <laughs> Okay, so we did manage to find the residence of Nakano, and they're all the way at the edge of the map here. And right now, we just ran into some acid rainstorm, so I promise you the scenery is not scary. It's just because we're going through a major rain right now. But it seems like this place is extremely isolated from the rest of the other cities in the map and I assume that's the place if not maybe this is the spot where we will be taking to the resonance I'm not sure but it's crazy oh that's the house huh okay I mean, I gotta admit, this place is pretty nice. If it wasn't for the fallout and the bombing, this place would be like the perfect spot to retire to. I mean, look at this. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Angie, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, man. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. Hey. Shoot. Uh, hold on. So, let me see. Hey. What can I do? Uh, can you exit out the armor or nah? Heads up. Hmm? Alright, so I guess... I can't really do anything, huh? Heads up. Just let me know. Uh, can you get out the armor or no? Okay, never mind. I'm going to stay inside the armor, but let me just take a look inside. Maybe Damn! Trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Look alive. Piper is so adorable, but I I seriously can't tell you to get out the armor. Or... Piper. These always keep me going. Oh, that's so cute. I need you oh. to get out of your power armor. You got it. Finally. Okay, so I would need to talk to her first and then tell her to get out the armor. Alright, so there's Piper here in case any of you are wondering where she's been. I decided to take her to my journey. Uh, grabbed her from um, Sanctuary Hill. Left Curry there. What? So. Who are you? 
I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. Yeah, I can tell. What happened? So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Um, but we got ow? Out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Uh -oh. Her daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. She's still a I baby, though. She's not an adult. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. 19 is she still young. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. Okay. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Okay, so the dad says she ran away or got kidnapped. The mom says she left her own. 19, you're still too young to know exactly what you want, so. Oh, maybe this is a clue where the Project kid could log. be? Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. She is a fixer, or more importantly, an inventor. Kind of reminds me of Pervari from The Outer Worlds. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be, let's go with Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. So if I do manage to see her, I'll say Ohm's Law so she knows that I am a friend and not a foe. Damn, this place is dirty as hell. And I like how Piper is just sitting there. That's so cute. All right, so let me just talk to the folks real quick. That way I can, you know, see what's going on. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. Oh no, that, so that makes sense to why the mom thinks she ran off. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we, no, never mind. I don't no, 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 no. Tell me, tell me, bro. Every tell detail me. is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that. We've been fighting a lot more, all of us, ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away. Oh, he no. was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. 
You know what? That is so observant. I'm going to look in the boathouse to see if she actually left out more clues for me. Nothing else right now. But let me talk to the dad first, see what's his intake on the situation. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions about my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. How? Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. I understand that, but I need more clues, bro, and you're not really giving me any clues. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? We are still not sure about whether or not she's kidnapped, though, but... Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Okay, now you're overdoing it, like, bro. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix you the You can't radio? control Ever everything. since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Okay, so I'm gonna check the boathouse. And also I could see why the mom said that he was a little bit overprotective. I mean, you can't control your kids every single move. That's impossible and unrealistic, but you know what? Let's see what other tapes I could find, if there are any tapes. There has to be some other clue, though. Let me just look outside first. Cigarettes? Ooh, I almost walked into that hole. I am good. Okay, this is cute. The place where they fish. Adorable. Okay, so maybe this is in the boathouse per se. So I'll just take a look inside that boat over there. But I also wanted to double check on that other house as well. Just in case if there's more clues. So far, the parents are conflicted. They are blaming themselves low-key. Is that a cat? Hey, pussy pussy! Hola, gatito! El gato! So that could be the boathouse over there, but this is a cool boat. Alright, so... Meow, meow! Let me just run over here quickly, see what else I can find. I'm gonna go to the small well outhouse first. I know. I say running too. <sighs> running to the kitchen for some food! Because I love food. Damn. I don't think I'll be able to get anything from here. Huh. Interesting. My dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Granddad. Huh. Somewhere in the outhouse is the key. The key to the safe. And I assume that key will definitely help us with opening up that safe. And then once we get into the safe, that's when we'll be able to see any clues. Question is, where's the key? Oh, let me...
Let me see if I can. Oh. Yes. You're pretty Pipe. good at that. Like, maybe next time you're in my house, I need to keep an eye on you good. Oh, okay, Piper. I see you. Project log? Um, myself. Oh my God, a minute. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Let me know Where do I start? I can do to the radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. Wait, what? They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but... Then they started asking about me and... Some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, oh no. I have to know the truth about myself. Oh they have told no! Me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. That's why she ran away because she thinks she's a synth. Whoever she was talking to, they probably brainwashed her into thinking she's not human. So she went up to Far Harbor to meet these group of synths. That's why she didn't want to tell her parents. Wow, that sucks. Look alive. Point the way. So you found a minute for me yet? Of course, I'm Sonia. I'm sorry. I just had to listen to the tape. Is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Okay. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Yeah. I'm not going to be the deciding factor in what becomes of Nat. She's going to figure that out for herself. It's just. Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Aww. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. Damn. That's it. I That's started crazy. the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. You are really greasing up that wrench over there. I mean, are you okay, Piper? Like, Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole. And patched it with bricks. See? When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. Seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. Hmm. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. Started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. Why I was sure I that be? the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. Aww. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> mm. I'm lying. If I said I never thought about you that way, oh, not really? that I'm always thinking that way. Mm -hmm. It's just Blue. <laughs> 
I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? Why not? Like, you're passionate, you're dedicated, you're very loving. I mean, you go out of your way to protect your loved ones. Like, bro. All we've been through, I've already seen you at your worst. Uh, that you're too. You're still here, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Piper, you have gained the Gift of Gab perk. So wait, Piper. <gasps> oh my god! That means you're my girlfriend? Sleeping while you have a romantic- Wait! Damn it. Whatever. Anyways. Oh shit, look at her in her little smug look. Oh snap! Extra, extra, read all about it. Piper Wright is officially my girlfriend. Damn. Oh my, this is a good way to start off season seven. Like, romance in the sun. Okay, so I got something to tell you, so listen to me. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Yeah. Did you find anything? I found a lot, actually. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's, yeah. That's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I, I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh god. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. Thank God for conveniences, like... What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, uh, let me stop being an ass, I'm sorry. Exactly safe. I am confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. 300? Listen, I'm not gonna complain about that. Thank you, though. Uh, let's go. Piper! We got some shit to do. Damn, my ass is fat in that suit. I like it, though. Plan on using your robot powers for good. Piper! You say the word. I would not whistle to her, bro. Of course. Because I know if I whistle. Wait, well, it really depends, but I wouldn't want to whist uh, whistle like that. Alright, let's go. Let's head on out. Sounds Far like harbor we go. Yep, sounds like Bridgeport and Waterbury. All right, you ready? Ready? All right, let's go. Oh shit, we're doing it. We're leaving. Yay, we're leaving. Bye pussy. Bye kitty. Yo, where's Piper? I could have sworn she was in the boat, like. All right, on to Far Harbor. One of Fallout 4's DLCs. Nah, for real though, where is Piper? Oh, this is so gloomy and muggy. 
Gives me that weird twilight feel to it, honestly. So this is Far Harbor? Abandoned buildings, me messed up places, like... This reminds me of Bridgeport, Connecticut, low-key. What is up with the lights? Excuse me? Yo, already people want to fight? I just got here, what the fuck? Oh, hi Piper, let's go. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Yo, this guy is here with a gun. Like, he wants to start trouble. Like, I have an atomic weapon, bro. Are you you wanna nuke it out? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around we here. We don't need the likes of you. Shut the fuck up. We don't need up. no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Yep. Well, she came through here all right. That's it. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, Wait, what do you mean? Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be what the hell? Don't fall off. What do, the hell did I, I walk into? Yo, what the hell did I got in myself into? Man the hall! Something's out there! What's out there, bro? Like I don't understand. You sure like you saw something. This ain't a drill. Yo, what's that sound? I peeled everyone. I see someone running. The gate. Open the gate. I see I'm a couple people. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Okay. Oh God! Defend yourselves. Yo, what is that? Wow! Yo, they are so ugly looking! I don't know what they are, but they look insane, like... Oh, wait, wait, who needs help? Shit, hold on. Hold on, let me get a good view. You know what? One person's down already, so let's go. Come on! That one down. Where's the other? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh man. This is not looking good. Woo! At least I have my power armor on, thank god, because I would have been dead. Well, uh, and I got my girl here. Hell yeah. Good teamwork. More? What the hell? What is that? Oh my god, bro. This is so not cool. Yo, this is insane. An angler fish? Oh shit, they got my leg. 
Oh, move out the way, move out the way. I'm not trying to hit you, bro. Okay, Still good. Is that an actual anglerfish? Yo, what the hell is this? This is insane, like. Not bad, not bad at all. Thank you. You too. Not bad to you too. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Ooh, not bad. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? Yeah. But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. Okay, With the right asshole. people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? Yeah. She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Okay, he's quite a character. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Yeah. Thank you. Don't let the island catch you off guard. By my guns. Wow, this is... I feel like this DLC is going to be pretty interesting to go through. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.